In rational and irrational topic, we will discuss now about representation of rational numbers on a number line. How to represent a rational number on a number line, we will see now. So, I am taking three examples. For example, 2 by 3 and minus 4 by 3 and one more is 3 1 by 2 ok now these 3 are the rational numbers because numerator and denominator p by q form previous topic we discussed 3 1 by 2 this is in the form of mixed fraction this is proper fraction this is negative improper fraction because minus if you take out 4 by 3 numerator is bigger than denominator because negative sign is apart 4 by 3 to represent these three numbers on a number line first you will see the number line 0 1 2 3 and so on 4 this side is asked is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, with equal distance, the numbers are there. First one is 2 by 3, I need to represent on this number line. Here, important thing is, any proper fraction that should be between 0 and 1, any proper fraction should be between 0 and 1. 2 by 3 is a proper fraction. So, that should be less than 1 and more than 0. So, in between these two, what we should do? 2 by 3. Here denominator is 3. So between 0 and 1, we should make 3 equal parts. We should make 3 equal parts. 1, 2. 2 lines if you make, 3 parts will come. 1, 2, 3. Parts should be 3, not lines. Right? You remember that. If you draw 2 lines, it becomes 3 parts. 2 third. Now after 0 it comes. This is 1 third, 2 third and 3 third. That means 3 by 3 is 1. So now this is in this second part is 2 by 3. According to denominator should make that equal parts. Now as the numerator says number that part is the value. Now, actually if you observe if you observe this is 0 by 3. 0 by something is 0. Now this is 1 by 3, this is 2 by 3 and this is 3 by 3. As you know 3 by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 3 by 3. According to denominator we should make parts and we have to represent as numerator the particular part. Now this is the 2 by 3 value. We will see once this uh, mixed fraction also. 3, 1 by 2. 3 is integer and 1 by 2 is the fraction. So 3, 1 by 2, it must be more than 3 and less than 4. So between 3 and 4, half part I have to make. So 1 by 2. Denominator is 2. So I need to make 2 equal parts. 1, 2. Now this is 3, 1 by 2. 3, 1 by 2, 3, 2 by 2. 2 by 2 is 1, 3 plus 1 is 4 will come again. 3, 1 by 2. Now, whenever they are giving in uh, improper fraction, we should convert into mixed fraction first. We have to convert into mixed fraction. Minus 4 by 3. Minus of 4 by 3. 4 divided by 3. Do division and convert into mixed fraction. So, what comes? 3, 1 is 3. 1, 1 by 3. This is minus 1, 1 by 3. Negative side, minus 1, minus 2. In between only, minus 1, 1 by 3 will come. Minus 1, 1 by 3. So, before minus 1, after minus 2. Denominator is 3. We should make 3 equal parts. Same as we discussed previous. First, second, third. Now, from right side, you have to count. This minus 1, 1 by 3. 
because next is 2 by 3 again 3 by 3 so we'll join to this minus 1 by 3 minus 1 2 by 3 again minus 1 3 by 3 this you can represent for minus 1 1 by 3 negative positive or any mixed we can represent on this number line like this